one in New York, New York, New York, New York, New York. I see on my back, cause this is where born in New York, New York, New York, New York. I come from a city that requires a whole nother level of determination. Where there's a million and one people that do what you do. But how do you stand out? How do you convince people that you're the number one draft pick? How do you be unique in every way? See, this ain't deep in the hills somewhere. This is New York City. This is the city that never sleeps. And I'm Nathaniel. you. Welcome to my story. Born in New York, New York, New York, New York. My city on my back, cause this is where it's born in New York, New York, New York, New York, New York. New York, New York. Let me tell you how it all began. I was born in Brooklyn, New York, January 25th, 1987, in Brooklyn Hospital. My mother raised me and my seven siblings in Fort Green Projects in Brooklyn, New York. We didn't have much coming up because there were so many of us, and my mother was doing it by herself. We grew up on Myrtle Avenue, where there was a lot of hustling going on, a lot of crime. You know, the streets was busy. So my mother tried to keep us in church, to keep us occupied. My cousin Charles had us singing in a choir, which he eventually called us God's faithful servants. We would go to Manhattan and perform, make a little bit of money, make just enough to go watch a movie that same night. <laughs> I remember my first Christmas where I actually got a pair of Jordans. I had a little microphone set. I attended elementary school in PS 307 in the Farragut houses. My father lived right across the street. It always bugged me out knowing that my father lived so close to my school, but he would never come across the street. I would just walk right past the building going home every day, till I eventually forgot he lived there. I attended junior high school at 113, where I joined the school choir. It was the first time I joined the school choir, and it opened my ears up to different forms of music, like Mozart, Bach, Beethoven, more on the classical side. Eventually, one of my older brothers, Lex, decided that we should form an R&B group. So me, him, my other brother, Xavier, and two of my best friends, Tron and Jimmy, formed a group called No Identity. We would sing at local talent shows where we began to gain popularity in our area. We won trophies, brought them home, celebrate it. Me being the youngest of the group, I always looked up to my two brothers for guidance. My other dream was to go to the NBA, 
so I knew it was either music or basketball. But the problem with basketball was that I was short, so I knew I had to get my hand up. I would spend nights in front of my building dribbling the ball. Took the ball with me everywhere I went. I actually became a show off. The up. For high school, I went to Harry Van Arsdale, then transferred to Long Island City High School with my homeboy Fresh. On my second year, I was writing for the school paper. It was called The Skyline. I remember one day Fresh wanted to audition for a school play, so I went with him. I figured I had he auditioned, so I might as well just do it too. And I ended up getting a leading role. My drama teacher found out I could sing, so she put me in a concert choir. And from there, everything took off. I was in the school plays, performances. I even traveled to Washington with the concert choir. By the end of that year, I took home the drama award. And my popularity went up a lot. Whole lot. While everything was all good at school, back at home, no identity was grinding harder than ever. We even made it to Apollo and performed for amateur night, where we didn't win, and I think it broke our spirit. And by the end of that year, we broke up. <laughs> 